Victor Wembanyama, the number one overall pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, made his preseason debut against the Oklahoma City Thunder on Monday, and to no surprise, he was impressive, as was Chet Holmgren, the second pick in the prior year's draft. But as far as Wemby, there were a few things that stood out to me that I wanted to highlight in this video. As far as his stats, he played 19 minutes and finished with 20 points on 8 of 13 overall shooting to go along with 5 rebounds, 2 steals, and 1 block. First off, as some have said, Comparing him to Ralph Sampson pre-knee injuries is definitely fair and legitimate. If Sampson never got hurt, he likely would have been a top 25 to 30 player of all time. Let's not forget that he and Akeem Olajuwon led the Rockets to the NBA Finals in 1986 when they were both very young, and it was the following year that he tore cartilage in his left knee, and from there was never the same. Now of course, Wemby has much more range on his jumper. Back in the 80s, taking threes, especially by bigs, was not a part of many players' arsenals. But as far as the movements, both on and off the ball, the handles, the ability to make shots from different angles, and the knack for tracking the ball off the rim for putbacks to me is very similar. Let's take a look now at a variety of Wemby's plays against the Thunder. The play that drew the most oohs and ahs was this driving left-handed scoop layup that eluded Holmgren's contest and that followed a nifty spin move. The way he glides around the floor, sometimes it looks like to me he's on roller skates. Here he shifts to his right with a between the legs dribble and connects with the contact. Now this shot he missed, but this was again kind of Ralph Sampson-esque. He posts up, makes a quick spin move to evade a defender, and launches right over the top. It's definitely funky and unorthodox, but he's going to make some of these attempts. Something you're likely going to see the Spurs do a lot of is have Wemby run out in transition following a miss or a turnover by the opponent. This happened a few times against OKC. You can see here as Josh Giddy is in the middle of taking his shot, Wemby's already getting set to sprint down the floor in case of a miss, which is what happened. Now on this play, Lou Dort was able to deflect the outlet pass away. Then naturally, he's going to score a lot off putbacks as he did here. This was something Samson did a lot of in the early portion of his career. Wemby made two of his five three-point shots in this game. The thing I noticed with him, and it's something that's extremely rare for seven foot plus guys, is that he's comfortable taking threes following relocation. In fact, both of his makes came in this matter against OKC. The only other seven foot plus player that really does this at a relatively high rate is Lowry Markinen. He actually took the fifth most on the move and relocation three-pointers in the regular season last year. I do think turnovers could be a bit of a problem for him. He's a bit out of control sometimes, and because of his height, it seems like his dribble is so low relative to his frame. Other times, he's just too loose with his handles. His passes in this game against OKC were sloppy as well. As far as his defense, he's obviously going to block a lot of shots, and when he doesn't block the shot, he still might alter it. His length, both with his arm reach and long strides, causes so much havoc. Here you see him keep Jalen Williams out on the perimeter and then make the easy contest on the shot. In this game, he was often guarding OKC's wings, including Williams. On some of the plays, he was manning the stationary shooter in the corner, like here with Davis Bertans, denying a swing or kickout pass. It'll be interesting to see how he fares guarding opponents in space on an island. I think even when opponents get past him initially, he'll quickly make up ground and alter a lot of shots from behind. And then I expect him to rack up a lot of deflections, which he did a few times against the Thunder. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.